Hey everyone, it's Owen, and welcome to my sixth video in my Java tutorial series. And in this video, we're going to be going over mixed data types and casting and constant variables. So, I want to talk about casting first, because it, it well, it, casting and mixing variables, because they lead in. So, which what I mentioned in the in the last videos is that you cannot do, you can't mix variables, or you you can but only in some cases for example i can't have uh int d i'll add 5.6 but i can't have double d um equal to 5.6 and put it in an integer and i can't assign the integer the value of d which is what i've done here so it essentially is trying to assign um 5.6 to the integer i and if I compile that, you can see that I cannot, it doesn't allow it to compile, so it, it doesn't work. But there are ways to get around that, and um, the way to get around that is called casting. And casting is just a way to convert um, different variable types, well, to other variable types. So in this case, we want to we want to convert the double that we have up here, double d, to an int, in order for it to fit here. So if we do this... I don't have a print line, but I'll just put it right here. It's gonna print out. Oh well, yeah, I'll put that. Um, it's gonna print out just five instead. So what it's done here is it's, it's simply uh, it's simply cut off everything after the decimal place value. So it's not gonna round up or down. It's just gonna get rid of it, and it's gonna print out five. So, um, that is casting. Uh, you may be thinking. You know, can you cast a, a? Can you do the reverse of what I've done here, and cast an integer into a double? And as I mentioned in the last video on uh, variable types and everything, there's no need to because you see here, if I had, um, if if I had these reverse and I had int i equal to like five, and I made double d equal to i. These are upside down, so I, I don't think it will compile, but yeah, these are upside down. Um, but, you know, if I did this, it would simply make it 6.0. So there's really no need to try to cast a double, or try to cast an integer into a double, because um, it can already do that. You just simply make it equal, you know, you simply assign it the variable. So, next question that you may have is, can you cast a string and into, like, a, into or a double variable? And like I said, like I also mentioned in the other videos, is that you can can use the dot length method if you simply want to take the length of your string and convert that into a number. Um, but for some cases, you may have like string d equals five, and you may like inside your quotation marks, and you may want to you know print out that five or assign that value to this integer. And there's a pretty easy way to do that. And all you're gonna do is name your <coughs> is declare your variable and then do int integer dot parse int and then inside your parameters you're gonna put y the name of your string. So let's see, I'll print this out. But what this is gonna do is it's just gonna take the value that you have assigned inside of your string. Um, and make it into an integer. In this case that is uh, 5. So I'll show you right here. And as you can see we have 5 printing out. So that's casting and that's all I really want to talk about this. Um, you know you can do 0 .05 and it'll print that out or whatever. Um, just make sure that you do have it inside your quotes because obviously if you keep them outside of your quotes this isn't going to compile because well it's not the right data type for a string. So next I want to go over constant variables and what constants are as you can guess are variables that do not change. So the way to declare a constant variable is very simple. All you do have to do is make it just put final before it and what this is going to do is it's not going to allow you to change your variable. It's going to make your variable static which means you can't change the value of your variable. So if I made um, well except I know I just said static. Pretty similar, but not like that. Um, not the same thing up here. But 
if I tried to change D now to, uh, let's see, hello, yeah, I do still have that. Okay, if I try to change it to hello and I compile that, you can see I can't do that because it says it cannot assign a value to a final variable. And that's what I've done up here is I've made it final and I've made it constant. Now, um, which I haven't actually, well, yeah, what I haven't done here is, uh, um, I have just a lowercase d, and it is conventional when making constant variables to name, to do all uppercase, so, I don't know, if I made this dog, um, it would, it's conventional to make it all uppercase, so it's of course not necessary, you know, it's not going to change how it compiles or anything if you have it like, like that, there's not going to be any problems, um, but, you know, just keep that in mind if you are going to be doing, if you plan on going into the field of programming or something, convention is always nice to follow. So after that I want to talk about compound operators again and go back to that. Because um, like I mentioned in my, well as I showed you in the last video, compound operators would be something like um, int x um, and putting plus and equals and I don't really have enough variables here, but dog, if I did dog, I guess that would work. Um, so it'd be adding x, it wouldn't work because it's a string, but you get my point. So what this does if you're using a compound operator is it's going to have a kind of a, like a, a you can't see it, so it's kind of like an invisible casting method. Um, I'll show you here, I'll have to change these. If I change like this to double though, and put that at x, and then we'll do, well here, x equals, I have to initialize it, x, and then x plus equals dog. So if I change this um, around and make it like this here, i got to make this a double, which will be 5. Um, what this is doing is it's, it's casting whatever this variable is, or whatever the total operation is, into an integer, and I'll, I'll write it out so that you can find out what I'm saying better, but it's, well, it's not always an integer, but it's going to be whatever this first variable is that you're using, so the x, so if I would advise, um, do this vice versa, you know, it would be casting a double, not that you need to cast a double, like I said, but anyways, so if I do it like this, it's really doing uh, x equals int, and then it's going to cast this, and it's going to do x um, what is it, x plus dog, and it's going to cast all this into an integer. So if I were to compile that um, and print that out, it's going to give me all that as an integer. I mean, it's already an integer, I guess, because this would be 5.0, really. I haven't actually put anything uh, past the place value. I'm not going to print that out. I'm just going to, I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying. You can try this out for yourself. It's a uh, but you know, if you ever print out a variable and realize, oh, I didn't have to cast that, or it automatically changed, um, just be wary. It has a hidden cast method. This compound, all these compound operators, this, um, and the minus and multiplication, division, and um, you know, modulus, whatever. But a last note that I'm going to talk about, and then I'm going to end this video, is um, be careful when you are casting something. I'll delete this and show you what if I were to delete these come back and delete these parentheses and I put just int here um, well actually I'll switch these around because this is already an integer and this is the double dog is so if I were to just put int here it's only going to cast this variable so if I, I didn't have any sort of parentheses around it so if you wanted to ever cast it make sure like if you wanted to cast a full operation, make sure to keep that operation inside. Whoops, keep that operation inside of your parentheses, and everything should work fine. So, on that note, um, I'm going to end this video, and I'll have some more videos up next week. So, thank you for watching.